Good afternoon, Mrs. Gladstone. I'm Dr. Henry. Oh, there must be some mistake. I'm here to see Dr. Jalen Henry. He's supposed to be the best surgeon of the state. No mistake, you are in the right place. Excuse me? I mean, I don't mean to brag, but uh, everything that you've heard about my abilities is correct. I don't know what you're playing at, but now's not the time for jokes. I have a serious medical condition, and I want to speak to the real doctor right now. Um. <sighs> Please, that's probably fake. I mean, how can someone like you be a doctor? What is that? Some sort of gang tattoo? No, actually, I got this. How far have we fallen as a society when we let unprofessional people like you become doctors? Mrs. Gladstone, if you would listen for a moment, I am happy to okay, explain. No, no, I can't do this, N not with you. Anyone who gets a tattoo on their neck is someone with very poor judgment. I want to cancel my procedure. Can you believe they tried to pass off some drug dealer as the best neurosurgeon in town? I think he did my surgery last year. Ah, oh, the man's a magician. Are you crazy? I can't believe you let that charlatan touch your body. What are you talking about? He's got a tattoo on his neck. What, what kind of professional mutilates themselves like that? Don't tell me you canceled your procedure. You bet I did. I'm not crazy enough to let someone like him tinker around with my brain. Oh, Maddie. Don't Maddie me. I'm a very good judge of character. Besides, I've already booked a different surgeon. One who's far more capable. All right, well, good luck. <laughs> Ma'am, are you okay? Ugh, what are you doing here? Selling drugs on the corner or something? No. I volunteer at the free clinic next door. I was walking into my shift and I noticed that you were struggling. I thought you could use some help. Okay, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Well, you don't look fine. Yeah, and you don't look like a doctor. So I guess we're both enigmas. You know what? Um, I gotta ask, what is your problem with me? My tattoo alone can't be the only cause for all of this hostility. Okay, just being honest. A man that does that to himself isn't working with a full deck of cards upstairs. You know what? You don't know anything about me. And you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Uh, it isn't about your appearance. It's about your judgment. You, you chose to do that to yourself. To put a sign on your neck that screams, I make poor decisions! It isn't a quality one looks for when choosing a surgeon. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Oh, nice to meet you, Dr. Miller. And you're here for a brain tumor removal, correct? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am so glad that you're willing to take me on as and such, you know, last minute. No problem. I, I'm excited for the chance. Are you? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. I almost had the procedure done by this thug, Dr. Jalen Henry. Oh, thank goodness that you are available instead. Thug? Hmm, yeah. Dr. Henry's an excellent surgeon. I mean, he's every bit as good as they say he is. Actually, his success is the reason why I don't see many patients with your condition. Hmm. Is that so? For the type of surgery that you're looking for, Dr. Henry's an artist. Top of the line. But he can't be that much better than you, though, right? <laughs> I mean, look at you. Just out of curiosity, how many of these procedures have you performed? It's my, uh... Second time. First since I was an intern. Typically, most patients see Dr. Henry if they can. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, but don't worry. I am chomping at the bit to do one of these. I'm sure it'll do just fine. 
After all, it's just your brain, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Come in. Sorry to bother you, Dr. Henry, but I was hoping that I could speak with you. Yeah. I owe you an apology. The way I treated you was just completely out of line. I appreciate that, Miss Gladstone. And I was hoping that you would consider taking me back as a patient and performing my procedure. You still want me to do your procedure even with this on my neck? I, I understand that the world has changed. I know young people like you enjoy scarring up their bodies. It's a hip style and all that. I, I just shouldn't have held it against you. I didn't get this tattoo for fun or to be hip. Then why? Do you really want to know? Okay. I'll tell you. You see, not too long ago, one of my favorite things to do was draw with my daughter. But something was wrong. She was diagnosed with a brain tumor, a cancerous one. Despite all my years of studying medicine, it was too late and I couldn't do anything to save my daughter. But when she'd draw, to get so happy, no matter how sick she got, she said she loved how happy her drawings always made me. So I promised her I'd get one of them tattooed on my body so I'd always be able to see it and smile. And she picked the spot. And she chose my neck because she wanted everybody to see it and smile too. This is the last drawing she ever made for me. And after I buried her, I made good on my promise. I had no idea. I, I, I'm so sorry for how I treated you. I, I should have known better than to judge a book by its cover. Well, you may be surprised to hear this, but happens all the time. I accept your apology. Thank you, doctor. And yes, I will do your procedure. <sighs> oh, hi, Mr. Anderson. Don't hire me. Your rent is late again. Um, no, that's got to be some mistake. We've never missed a payment. No mistake. I haven't gotten rent from you for three months. No, that can't be right. My husband, ex-husband, said he's been well, paying. Well, he lied to you. I have no choice now but to evict you and get a paying tenant here. No, 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 you can't do that. I had no idea that he hadn't been paying. Please, he just left me last week and... Does it look like I want to hear your life story, hmm? What I want to hear is when I'm going to get my money. I, I don't have it. Oh, I. I can't afford four months rent plus a divorce lawyer. Shh. You got two days to find it or you're out of here. Got it? No, Mr. Anderson, please reconsider. I have my son. Where are we supposed to go? That's not my problem. Saturday is your last day. Ciao. <sighs> Dad ever coming back? I don't think so. Remember what you always tell me. Although things seem dark right now, brighter days are ahead. Thank you, honey.
He said he paid 30000 but I'll take whatever you think is fair. I'd estimate this particular ring to be around... $45. No. <laughs> no, no, it can't be. He told me he got it at this high-end boutique in Beverly Hills and that it was from... I hate to break it to you, but this diamond is a fake. Even the gold band is gold-plated. Whoever told you that it's worth 30 grand has lied to you. Yeah. He tends to do that. You still want to sell it? Blame me, you're the one parked in a no parking zone. No, I am not, there is no sign. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, who could possibly read that? Even if that mattered, which it doesn't, you have 20 outstanding parking tickets. No, I don't. My ex, unbelievable. What? My ex-husband probably got those tickets. I had no idea. You've got to believe me. No, I really don't. Please, sir, just have a heart. I have had a terrible day, and, and, and I really can't afford this. Could you please, please just let me off with a warning? I could consider it for a price. This is all the money I have. Hey! Hey, I paid you! I said I would consider it for a price. So I considered it and decided not to let you off with a warning. Okay? No, not really. I know I'm just a stranger, but maybe it'll help to talk about it. My wife left me last week, completely out of the blue. I figured she needed a few days to cool off, so I gave her some space. I had this big romantic plan to win her back and surprise her with favorite flowers. But? But when I showed up, I found her with another man. Turns out she didn't leave me because I worked too much, like she said. She left because she's been cheating on me for over a year. Oh, well, I know a little bit about what that feels like. My husband left me last month. It was for another woman, but it wasn't just any other woman. It was my best friend. That's rough. How have you dealt with it? Poorly, so far. Now today I found out that the wedding ring he got me was fake. Yeah, it was worth $45. And my car just got the boot. Sounds rough. But I just keep moving forward and pressing along because I have a son at home that needs me, so I have to stay strong. Sounds like you're an excellent mother. It just feels like my whole world has been turned upside down, you know? Here's what I'm always telling my son. Although it seems like the days are dark right now, there are brighter days ahead. So you just have to power through and just keep pressing in to get to those brighter days. That's a great way to look at things. I, uh, I've got to get back to my son now. So. And it was really nice talking to you. Wait. Here. 
please, for being so kind. Not many people would have stopped and asked the stranger about their troubles. I hope those brighter days come soon for you. Hey, that's my couch! What? Mom, I tried to stop them, but they just pushed their way in. It's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna handle this. What is going on? You said I had one more day to pay. Please. We both know you have no chance of getting that much money in time, which is why I decided to move up your eviction to today. And that way, I don't have to pay overtime to my movers. What's going on here? What are you doing here? I live here. Or I did. I'm being evicted. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? I didn't want to make your day any worse. <laughs> what are you doing here? He is the boss, owns the whole building. Good to see you, sir. I was in the area. Typically, I don't check on evictions, but I noticed it was breaking protocol by evicting early. Why are you evicting her? She hasn't paid her rent in three months. Rules are rules. Put everything back right now. What? Why? She hasn't paid. I have a question for you, Mr. Anderson. Why are you breaking our company's protocol by evicting her a day early? Uh, like I said, uh, there's no way this lady can make the payment. I'm trying to save you money. That's where you're wrong. Boss. She will be making her payment in full today. <laughs> How is she going to come up with that much money? Because I'm going to cover it. In fact, I'm not only covering her back rent, but her rent for the next year. Boss, think about what you're doing. We are talking about thousands of dollars. Oh, here. I am thinking about it. What you should be worried about is the conversation we're going to be having later today about your decision to violate protocol. This, this is too much. Why, why are you going out of your way to help me like this? Someone once told me that although things might seem dark right now, there are brighter days ahead. I'm making sure yours starts right now. <laughs> Thank you. May I help you? Um, sorry, I might have the wrong address. I was looking for James. You're in the right place. Please, come in. James, a lovely young lady is here to see you. I see you two have already met. Wow, you look amazing, Amber. Thank you. We should get going if we're gonna make our reservation. Okay, yeah, sure. Have a wonderful dinner, you two. Thanks, and don't worry, I'm gonna be back in time to watch Jeopardy just like we always do. You better because I'm gonna win again tonight. <laughs> it's our little tradition. Oh, okay. I really appreciate you picking me up. My car just got a flat on the way home from work. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Oh, yeah, um, no problem. Is everything okay? Oh, nothing, um, but who was that back there? <laughs> you mean my mom? You still live with your mom? Yep. And don't worry, I can tell she really likes you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Thanks for going out to dinner with me. I've been looking forward to it all week. Me too. <laughs> Shoot. I'm sorry, I should take this. Hey, Mom, is everything okay? No, it's fine. What's the problem? I put your prescription in the medicine cabinet in the bathroom. See it? Okay, good. I'll see you later tonight. So sorry my mom couldn't find her pills. I know it's rude to take a call at the table. You think I'm upset because you took a call? Aren't you? No. 
I'm upset because you're a 35 year old man who still lives with his mom. And not only do you still live with her, but you guys seem overly codependent on each other. And it's weird. Weird. Yeah, it's weird. James, you're seemingly a perfect guy. You're handsome, you're charming, you're a gentleman, but I'm sorry, your living situation is a deal breaker for me. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I think you might be rushing to judgment on this. Let me explain. There's I no need to explain. No woman in her right mind wants to be with a man who's still living at home with his mom like a little kid. I'm not a kid. If you'll just hear me out, I can explain. Let me guess, is that her again? Just give me a second. Hey, mom. <sighs> okay, you know what? Why don't you take your mom out for dinner? Mom, I'll call you right back. No, I'm done. <laughs> and wait, wait, wait. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can work this out. I think we might have something special here. Yeah, I thought so too, but I need a real man, not a boy pretending to be a man. What does that mean? It means I don't want a mama's boy who has to live with his mom because he can't make it on his own. Amber, no, please. No, this date is done. Stop causing a scene. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> can I at least get a ride back? Why don't you call your mom to pick you up? I'm sure she's used to it. Yes? Hi, um, I don't know if you remember me. Oh, I do remember you. And I think it's best you leave. Uh, oh wait, uh, I was um, trying to call James, but he hasn't been answering. Gee, I wonder why. Is he home? Um, I just wanted to talk to him just for a few minutes. He is home, but it would be for the best if you left. Mom, is everything, oh. What are you doing here? Uh, I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes, if that's okay. It'll be really quick. Uh, Mom, would you give us a second? Okay. So, what's going on? I came to apologize. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was a real jerk to you. I. I don't care that you still live with your mom. I don't live with my mom. She lives with me. Tomato, tomato. No, see, when my dad died last year, I couldn't bear the thought of her being by herself, especially at her age. So I invited her to come live with me. That way I could take care of her. Oh, that's really sweet. And that makes total sense. I really shouldn't have rushed to judgment there, huh? So, what do you think? Do you wanna give us another chance? Hey, honey. Honey? Hey, handsome. Who's this? I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize you were dating someone new. Not dating. <laughs> <laughs> honey, this is Amber. She just stopped by. Wait, so you married him, even though he still lives with his mom? Of course I did. I wasn't going to let this one get away. 
He's wonderful. But now you have to live with her. Doesn't that bug you? I look at it this way. If this is how he treats his mother now, then I know he's going to treat me with the same tenderness as we get older. What woman wouldn't want that? I'm sorry, but we have dinner reservations that we really need to get to before they give away our table. Uh, shall we? I'll drive. Oh, but I love driving your car. <laughs> I know, which is why I never get to drive it anymore. Wait, that's your car? Since when? Since before I met you. I told you I had a flat that night, remember? Yeah, but you didn't say it was a Porsche. I didn't think it mattered. You must be lost. McDonald's is a few doors down. I'm actually here to sign up. I'd like to become a member. <laughs> Look, no offense, but this gym isn't for people like you. I'm sorry, is there some sort of problem with me joining? We try to avoid a certain type of clientele, if you know what I mean. Maybe you should think about it some more and come back tomorrow. I have thought about it a lot, actually. I I'll be real with you. Today is a really bad day for someone like you to join. The gym's new owner is coming by and I want them to be really impressed by our clientele. Not grossed out or saddened by them. Be that as it may, I, I think I'd really like to sign up today. I'm trying to make a positive change in my life and working out is the first step of my plan. <laughs> Fine, let's make this quick. Follow me. I've actually never really been to the gym before. You don't say. Are there any personal trainers on staff today who can help get me started? Nope. Just me. Okay. Uh, well, will you train me then? Sorry, can't. But I read online you provide free training for the first day of signups. Fine, but you have to promise that you'll be out of here before the new owner arrives. Uh, no problem. Let's get this over with. I feel it in my knees a little. Is that normal? Yeah. How's my form? Am I doing it right? Uh-huh, that's fine. Are you sure? Uh, point your toes a bit straighter. You want to make sure that your knees cover your toes like this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that really makes a difference. <laughs> you want to make sure you go all the way down so you feel the burn in your glutes. There you go. Oh, I really feel the burn. Yeah. You did it. Good work. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for those tips. It's actually my first time going to the gym. It's kind of overwhelming, and I'm kind of embarrassed about how little I know. I mean, look, don't let that stop you, okay? The hardest part is walking through the door, and you've already done that. Good work. All right, all right, we're moving on to the next exercise. Come on, chop, chop. That's it. You can go way harder than that. Let's really hear it. Hey, what's going on? Why are you recording her? Because it's hilarious. My friends on Insta are gonna love it. Delete that video right now. Get out of here, lady. Who do you think you are? Hey, what's going on? She's recording you for her Instagram account so she can make fun of you. Why would you do that? <laughs> Calm down. It's just a joke. Don't be a baby about it. It might be a joke to you, but it's not to me. This is something I've been struggling with my whole life. You see, I've always been insecure about my weight. 
I thought that that would go away as I got older, but it only got worse. That's when I decided to make a change. I wanted to finally take control and do something about it. So I decided to join a gym. But every time I worked up the nerve to sign up, I'd find a reason to back out. So you see, I finally worked up the courage to sign up and make that big change. But you really haven't made things easy for me. Sounds like you should have trusted your gut and not joined. This gym is for people who take working out seriously. Not some overweight girl who's never worked out a single day in her life. <laughs> Don't listen to her, okay? This gym is for anybody that wants to make a positive change in their lives. You don't get to decide that. I do. I'm the manager here. You may be the manager here, but I'm the new owner. No, you're not. The new owner is a man named... Taylor Davis. Yep, that's me. <laughs> I thought it was a man. Don't let the name fool you. I always have an anonymous workout before meeting my staff. It gives me a better understanding of how things are being run. And quite frankly, I've had enough of your rude and your nasty attitude. Look, it was just a big misunderstanding, and I was just... Save showing. it. Gyms are supposed to be a place where people can come and work out and not feel judged or made to feel less than. But you wouldn't know anything about that. Someone like you has no business training others, let alone managing a gym. You're fired. <laughs> but I've been working here for three years. That's three years too many. Now get out before I have security escort you out. <sighs> I am so sorry how you retreated today. Okay, what you're doing here, it takes real courage. I don't know about that. Well, I know because I went through the same thing. Wow. Did you really lose all that weight just by going to the gym? In addition to making some lifestyle changes, yes. But you could do it too, if that's what you really want. I do want that. Very much. Good. Because I'm giving you a free lifetime membership here. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll even train you if you like, help you get started. I would love that. Well, it's good to work. Yeah. <laughs>